first of all, to support the American Heart Association, but also to give someone a giant novelty check on stage at the same time. It's like a two for one. I've never been the recipient of one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Haley and her community will be raising money for the American Heart Association all throughout TwitchCon. Um, stop by our channel, twitch.tv slash Haley Nick, if you're interested in helping out. And uh, as she said, the uh, American Heart Association is here in the charity plaza with a Halloween-themed escape room. So everyone should come check that out as well. Um, and all weekend long, we'll also be supporting them by turning Twitch slash Twitch into an active charity stream. So throughout TwitchCon, when you donate on our main channel, you'll also be joining us in the support of a cause that saves a lot of lives. So as a thank you to Haley and Infinity for their amazing work, uh, I just want to say I'm also going to be making a personal donation there um, later this weekend. Um, so thank you so much for continuing this amazing tradition of supporting great causes on Twitch. And uh, it's an honor to keep supporting you on this journey. We think that Twitch is a great place to raise money for charity, in large part because Twitch is all about bringing people together to form communities uh, which support each other. And chat, of course, is a great place to do that and a great way to do that. But to go even deeper, we often see streamers bring other people on stage into the video stream with them. Um, but we've seen that can be really technically difficult. Um, it's really hard to bring someone on to share the stage while you're live. And bringing someone else onto your stream has been not only difficult to set up, but difficult to moderate um, and to do safely. Um, but when it works, it's a really connecting and fun experience for everyone. That's where our new product, Guest Star, comes in. We've all been in streams where the streamer is having a conversation with someone in chat, and there's one of those awkward pauses where they're waiting for the chatter to reply, and the streamer misses the reply because they're trying to entertain everyone else. And with Guest Star, you can just pull that person onto your stream really quickly with either video or voice, and have a conversation everyone can be part of. We think the uses for guest star are gonna be endless, from calling in guests to your podcast, to bringing a co-commentator in to help cast the finals, to going head to head with another streamer, to holding impromptu meet and greets, or settling a debate with your community about whether pineapple belongs on pizza, um, which incidentally it does, and everyone who says otherwise is just wrong. Sorry. So guest star lets you invite up to five guests on your stream at one time, from both mobile uh, or from the, your desktop, and those guests can be either folks from chat or other streamers. And somewhere in the charity tool, Guest Star is an evolution of something that the community wanted. We saw that with our help, we could make something that would let more people do this with more other of their friends. And in addition to helping you build stronger connections, we saw two main ways for Guest Star to be better than existing solutions, both ease of use and safety. While it's theoretically possible, of course, to invite someone onto your stream today, bringing guests onto your stream can be a hassle. You might end up playing tech support for them, um, which cuts into the time that's better spent live, and guests are lets you seamlessly bring people in without requiring them to download any extra software. We also know that there can be safety risks that come with inviting guests onto your stream. Um, and because guests are requires all guests to already have a Twitch account for moderation and reporting, just like with chat, this means guests are responsible for their own behavior when they're on your stream, um, which I think is a huge, huge difference. We've also empowered streamers to let them grant mods permissions to help them run the call. Um, and so you're gonna be able to have mods vet guests before they appear on your stream uh, or help kick out unruly guests. And if you find a guest that your community enjoyed a lot, we're gonna give you a favorites list that makes it easy to invite them back in the future. Um, the team told me that we should not do a live demo here on stage because they tend to break, but I think we should just go for it. So, uh, yeah. So to help show up guest star in action, let's call on a special guest live. Please welcome to TwitchCon, Aaron Keller, the game director of Overwatch 2. I thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm honored to be a part of TwitchCon. And I've got to say, this is a pretty incredible feature. Maybe I start guest starring on some Overwatch streams. Yeah, I, I hope you do. So, so um, have you been up? I feel like it's been a chill week for you, right? Have you been up to anything interesting? Has anything happened? Oh my god. This has been a crazy, exciting week. On Tuesday, we launched Overwatch 2. 
it, it ushered in a new era of the game where it's now a living, breathing, free-to-play experience. And the team is so excited to go in this direction. Now, any player can jump into the world of Overwatch and experience our, our heroes, the gameplay, and all the exciting locations that we have. And there's always going to be more coming. Now, with, with any big change, it brings a set of risks and challenges. So anyone that's logged into our queues this week may have discovered that. But I'm so proud of the team back at Blizzard who have been working nonstop preparing the best possible experience for players this weekend. And, and I just want to take a moment to thank the millions of players worldwide who have been waiting for this game and have already downloaded it. Your passion for Overwatch, it's, it's humbling for us. And it really is our desire to do whatever we can to fuel that passion in the weeks, months, and years to come. Awesome. Well, congratulations so much on that launch. I know the community has been looking forward to it for quite a while. You know, Thank you. Blizzard has been making games for, I think, a really long time now, um, before widespread internet access and before Twitch existed. So I said I would ask one more question around, like, how, how has Twitch, and specifically how Twitch streamers, influenced how you make games? Twitch and its creators play such an important role in the industry today. We, we take feedback, we, we listen to as many people as we can on, on social channels, um, and through, um, through Twitch as well. Like, Twitch streamers have their own community. Even before we launched the initial game, before we even announced the initial game, we brought in groups of streamers and creators to play it and start giving us their impressions and their feedback. Um, sometimes we view streamers as the voice of the everyday gamer, and it's just, amazing to be able to to be able to tune in somewhere and just be able to like to listen to that voice and to be able to get that feedback and it's not just that the the streamers in the overwatch community they they're so high energy and they can be such positive people and and throughout all of twitch it's 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 amazing to see the impact that some of these people can have on the world like we like we just saw um, and for us, like, we've always talked about Overwatch, the world of Overwatch as this bright, hopeful, inspirational future. So to see these people making the world a better place just really aligns with the way we view our game and it resonates with us as a team. So, Aaron, I heard you also uh, have something else you're going to show us. Um, wait, hold on. I think it's going to be a, a full re-remaster of Brood War. <laughs> Spoilers, oh. come on! No, okay. No, um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, something else, but it's something that I'm incredibly excited for. We're so happy to show the finished version of our latest animated short. We, we absolutely love making these pieces. As, as storytellers, it just gives us a chance to delve even deeper into the world of Overwatch and and explore the characters that inhabit it, because it's kind of hard to do that in the middle of a multiplayer match. So our, our latest animated short is about our all new support hero, Karika. She's courageous, she's cunning, and she's got a little bit of an attitude. She, she comes from this family that has these ancient ancestral ties to the Kanazaka shrine, where she became close to the fox spirit. Kariko grew up with uh, Hanzo and Genji, and all three were trained by her mother. She witnessed the fall of the Shimada clan and the rise of the Hashimoto's who are now terrorizing her neighborhood. Um, she's a total badass, and she will do whatever it takes to protect those that she cares about, which you will see later in the show. I, I think all of our animated shorts are special. The, the people making them are so incredibly talented, but this is honestly one of my favorite pieces we've ever made, and I cannot wait for all of you to see it. Well, we can't wait to check it out very soon, and you can just like DM me the Brood War info for access to that. Um, <laughs> so thank you for taking the time to call us and join in, um, and good luck, I uh, can't wait to uh, check the game out. Thank you so much.
guest star has been available to a select group of streamers for the past few months. Um, so let's take a quick look at what the community has been doing with it so far. Here we go. Are you ready? Oh my god, there he is! It worked! Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the stream. So we have five people on. Look at this. <laughs> Hi, Kat. Blink twice if you are in danger. One, two, three. Yeah. Let me add her in and Jenny, we are live. Did I? I can't believe that it worked. Is this working? Oh my God, it's working. Yeah. After my co-host, it's happening. Fantastic to know get this stuff. Because all these people will be like, oh, I'm rusty. I haven't touched this in years. They're falling from the sky. We got everybody. Twitch tech support has been on my side. But yeah, the guest star thing is cool. And, and I can even add people from the chat. And so far, I love it. We're going to see so much of this. The power of bringing people into your stream is so easy after this. Anyways, we're gonna have a great con. 
TwitchCon, and I'm so glad I was able to be with you all. Bye bye, see you later. Oh wait, my boots don't work in the physical realm. Uh, not really sure how we're supposed to follow that up, so uh, let's say we just wrap this thing up, shall we? Alright, no matter what you're doing on Twitch, there's something at TwitchCon for you. We have so much planned for you this weekend that this will have to be a speed run version. We have streamer sessions in Creator Camp Theater, where you'll get tips from Twitch staff and from pros at the top of their game, from making affiliates a partner and beyond. Uh, Twitch